Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're finally out of the ice world, and we're on to Pipe Maze. So I think this is gonna be better. Uh, so let's start it off with level 7-1. And as the name suggests, we've got Pipe Mazes. Uh, the level loops around here, as you can see by that shell going back and forth there. And I can just destroy all these piranha plants with my hammers, which is very nice. Um, there is an invisible black with a 1-up in it above those blacks there. But I'm not gonna be able to reach it. Just because I'd need to be able to fly. But as long as you can see where it is, that's fine by me. Plus, I don't really... Goodbye, hammer suit. At least I didn't need the hammer suit anymore. But yeah, I don't need to show all the one-ups. It's, it's cool to show them, but mainly I just wanted to show all of the level. Like, I wanted to show all of all the levels. Um, you can get into the pipe uh, above me if you're good. I'm not exactly sure how. I would really like to know. Whoa! I didn't mean to go through that. Yeah, you can go through a lot of pipes here. Come on now, I want to get up there. I don't need to get up there, but darn it, I want to. Yeah, I don't know how to get up there. I'm not sure if I ever got up there. I might have, like, once. Actually, I know how to do this. That was easy. Why am I so dumb? There we go. Those coins are mine to take. That seems like the safest course of action of how to deal with them. Let's get out of here. Hey, I still got a star even though I glided like that. Cool. Yeah, now that we're in World 7, it's officially impossible for us to get another coin ship. Which is good, because the coin ships replace the Hammer Bros. And I don't want to replace the Hammer Bros. Anyways, this toad house should be boring with a mushroom, a fire flower, and a leaf. And we got a fire flower. Why can we never get a leaf? It's kind of annoying, but... You know what? There's two toad houses left in the game, and we're gonna be getting interesting stuff from both of them. But now, for this level, we want to get 41 coins. So we want to get to 96, that means. And it might be a bit tricky here. We gotta make sure that we do this part right. This part is key. I 
I think we did that right. I don't think we could get to the other one there fast enough. Uh, we're only six coins away, so I certainly hope that's good enough. We're gonna wanna go in here quick to fill in this bridge here. And also check out what's down here. Leaf. I don't know, I am a little concerned about those coins. I mean, six coins doesn't seem like much, but I honestly can't think of any right now. Like, I have no clue where to get those last six coins. But I also don't see how I could have got to those other bricks fast enough. So this has got to be right, right? At the very least, we've got a one-up mushroom here. And I should have gone in the pipe back there, actually. Because there is a little tunnel we can go into down here. Which doesn't look like it has any more coins. This concerns me. Man. Where are my coins? I mean, because there's no way I could have got to those other blocks, right? Oh, I can't even die now. And this isn't the first level, so... I guess I'll just wait till time runs out. I guess I'll cut that out. It'll be the first time I'm cutting something out in this series, although... I really should have done it in the ice world. You know what? No. I'm telling you that I'm gonna wait until the timer runs out. So that's what we're gonna do. I haven't cut anything out yet. I'm not going to now. I mean, I wish I could just exit the level without quitting the game. Like, that's legitimately pretty dumb. Like, I can't just press start and select. That doesn't work. Yeah, that's dumb. Oh boy. Well, don't complain about getting bored here. I told you we were waiting. You could have skipped ahead. That blame goes on you. Okay, there we go. So, how many coins is Mario at? He's at 77, so... We want to get up to 18 coins with him. Let's see if we can actually do that this time. Up to 18. Unfortunately, you know, flaming those enemies doesn't actually get you coins in Mario 3. So I want to scope this out quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 15, 16. That's not enough.
I think I just need to go all the way across. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I was literally one coin away. Well, that sucks. But that's what you gotta do. It's just really hard. So gotta get to 31 with Luigi here. And thankfully this will be the last time we'll ever have to do this, because there's no more levels where you have to do this anymore in the game after this. That was pitiful. I don't understand how to get that speed, though. It's a little ridiculous. What is the best way to gain speed there? Not like that, that's for sure. These blue toad houses are really becoming an ordeal. I mean, they're cool and all, but they're giving me so much trouble. Oh, wouldn't it be perfect to get 64 right here? That'd be a perfect way to end these shenanigans. Oh, come on! Like, I feel like this... I feel like getting these coins is just luck. Because, I mean, I don't even understand what I'm supposed to be doing to go fast enough here. What causes me to go faster? Because it seems like I'm doing the same thing every time, but I'm getting different results. What is the secret behind the physics of Mario 3? Oh, well, that failed. I stumbled, and the slightest stumble, and you're done. Even if you do it perfectly, it's not gonna work, as we've seen. I really hate having to waste all this time on this, but my goodness. I mean, it's not like I have another choice. Three coins here. Got nothing else to commentate on because honestly, there is nothing else. Okay, I got four. Got one more than I needed. Hooray! Couldn't make that jump, but that's okay. Let's just finally get through this level. I mean, it's a cool level and all, but these coin challenges... are just insane, and I don't want to do them anymore. And thankfully we won't have to. Ever again. Until I do a playthrough of Super Mario Advance 4. Then we'll have to do them again. But that won't be for a long time.
I earned that star. Where did the blue toad house go? Because it's not over here. I didn't see it. I wasn't looking at the screen. Where is it? Wait a minute. No, there is... I don't know where it is. But I know I did the challenge, so whatever. This is a level where you can have Starman throughout the whole level if you just keep your star power when you hit the next Starman block. Otherwise, you get a coin from the block rather than a Starman. And hey, P-Switch. And we lost our sta star power. Both of those blacks there were star power. And we died, because we didn't have our star power. Rawr. All right, let's actually star power this up. successfully this time or not we can do it not successfully and just uh, you can't slide into them apparently good to know too bad I didn't oh I almost made the exact same mistake Okay, now this is unfortunate because I'm. I need to know how to fly. I've got plenty of P wings though. So that shouldn't be too much of a problem. But first, let's fail at the slots one more time. Is this the last time? Maybe, I honestly don't know. No, there's still one more up there. Let's P-Wing it up. Because we can get over this wall and get two one-ups here. And now we swim and wow! I'm, I feel like I can swim really fast. I think that's because of the P-Wing. Thank you, P-Wing. You're making this level a lot better. Oh. I lost it now. That makes me sad, although I still somehow have P-Power. Is it because swimming, like, technically counts as you, like, being in the air, so... I haven't lost it yet. Oh, I'm losing it all right. I'm losing it all. Big Bertha among all these Gelectro and Blooper Nannies. Just a big mass of Gelectro. All right, where's the pipe? Even touching the ground there didn't get rid of my P power. Which is redundant, because I'm pretty sure the P stands for power. I'm really glad that Big Bertha stopped there, otherwise she definitely would have eaten me. Oh, 
Alright, what's well, this way? We can enter this pipe from any direction, so let's be a rebel and go in the back. And we've got some sort of a maze here. Let's not waste too much time hitting blocks, because we got a time limit. We can fill in little gaps like that, because there's invisible blocks there. Uh, we've got... The... We've got some health here, which could have been... A, f a leaf rather than a mushroom, but whatever. Over here... We've got one up, which I sent to the left, which is good, because that's where I'm going next. And this is the only one of the, these little pockets that you can actually get out of. The rest all have invisible blocks like this. So we can get a fire flower here. Oh, why didn't you duck Luigi? Wah! That was Duck Luigi. And we need a leaf to get through that. Hmm. I'm not actually sure if I can get a leaf. But thankfully I think that black is just for a shortcut. Because here I think we're on the other side of it now. Yeah. So we're not missing out on anything. So let's just fill in the walkways here. Let's take out this Koopa. Take out the... Take out the nonchalant Koopa. Fill in all the bridges. Uh, give that spiny a poor day. New comic strip coming out. Bad day spiny. It's totally the best idea ever. I had a feeling there was something there. I didn't know for sure, but I'm glad I checked. And I think this level went quite well. It's nice to have something go well for once. You know, now that we're not on that terrible, icy world that wasn't even bad from ice, it was just bad from just being bad. So now, we're gonna get something interesting. Oh, it was the hammer suit. I was hoping it'd be the frog suit since that's the one thing we haven't finished a castle with. But we could either get frog, tanuki, or hammer suits in that toad house. And it'll be the same thing in the toad house next to us here. By the way, we can't go anywhere from here. Pointless pipe is pointless. But that toad house we saw there, that's gonna be our last toad house. And also our next toad house. There's only one toad house left. In the whole game. Alright, so let's try the little piranha plant level. Piranha plant levels are very short, but a bit tricky because they involve these munchers here. That just go in and out of the pipes. Ooh, and then that piranha plant coming up where it was supposed to be safe. Uh, did not help much. But we made it. That's the whole level. And we get our reward. A P-Wayne. Hooray! So before we go to the fortress, I'm curious as to where this other pipe goes.
Oh, I, I know where it goes. It goes behind the other lock over here. Yeah. Anyways, let's finally end this video by finishing this fortress. It's a bit of a tricky one. Because you've got to find... There it is. I thought it was over there, but... Yeah, and it turn you got to find that P-switch, and it turns all this to coins, and you can get so many coins. But that's not what you want to do. So let's go in this door and go in this door again to head back out here. And let's get this P-switch for real now and land on this black and head in this door. Then we want to go down this pipe. And what's our reward? A tanuki suit, which we are going to need. Now this room here, because in order to get to the piece, which you needed to be big, and this room here is where you would get big. But thankfully we've already done that step. So now that we're big... By the way, that's the door that we saw before. But now that we're big... We can fly up here, and did you see that pipe up there? That's where we gotta go. Alright, Boom Boom. I'm ready to take you on again. Never beat me, Boom Boom. A lot of other stuff in this game might, but you won't. Alright. So, that's it for this video. In the next video, we will be continuing through World 7, Pipe Maze. I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you then.